Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today we have our draw tight hitch installed on our Lincoln MKX. Now what I really like about this hitch is that everything is hidden behind the bumper other than our receiver tube opening. Now even though our receiver tube opening is tucked back a little bit and not extremely visible, it's still going to offer us plenty of clearance. That way we can still use it for things like bike racks or cargo carriers. It is a class three hitch, so it's gonna utilize that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. And it's also gonna have a reinforced collar for extra strength. The hitch is gonna utilize the standard size 5 8 hitch pin. And if you need a pin and clip, you can pick one up on eTrailer.com. It's also gonna have a loop style safety chain which is large enough and open enough to use just about any size safety chain hook. It also has a hole to be used for a J-pin. If you do use a J-pin, that's gonna eliminate any vibration or noise in your connection point. The hitch is gonna have a 400 pound maximum tongue weight rating. Now that's gonna be the amount of weight pushing down on the receiver tube. Now for the maximum gross trailer weight rating, that's gonna be 4,000 pounds. That's gonna be the amount of weight pulling on the hitch. And that's your, that's the weight of the trailer plus anything you might have on it. Now it can be used with a weight distribution system. However, all of the ratings stay the same. Now it's a good idea to check with your Lincoln's owner's manual to make sure that your MKX can pull that much weight. Now I'm gonna give you a couple of measurements. These are gonna help you when deciding which accessories to use. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening is about 13 and a half inches. Now you're gonna use that measurement when deciding whether to get a rise or a drop for your ball mount. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper is about six inches. Now you're gonna use that measurement to figure out if any of your folding accessories can be folded in the upright position without making contact with your bumper. To begin our install, we're gonna need to lower the exhaust. Now I went ahead and did this already, but it's a good idea to get a strap and run it from one side of the vehicle to the other. That way when we lower the exhaust, we can do it a little more controlled. We're gonna need to remove three rubber isolator hangers. One here, one here, and then this one right here in the center. Now we're just gonna use some lubricant to spray it down to make it a little easier to get off. And get it sprayed down. Then we're just gonna take a pry bar to pop it off. We're gonna use that same procedure to remove the other two. Now I just wanna point out on our heat shield, this hole right here in the frame, some of our hardware will actually come out through that hole. Well, the heat shield went straight across and partially blocked that hole. So I just use those 10 snips and just cut out a little notch. That way it's free from obstruction. What we can do now is use our fish wire to put our hardware in the frame. Now we're gonna be using this hole as well as this larger one right here. So what we're gonna do is take the coiled end of our fish wire and actually feed it through this larger hole and it'll come out from the back of the frame behind the bumper. So you're gonna kinda have to stick your hand up there and feel for it. And here it is. And what we'll do then is take a spacer block, put that over the fish wire. Then we can take a carriage bolt and thread that in. We can pull the other end of our fish wire and with our hand help feed that hardware back into the frame. We'll slide it all the way through. It'll pop out just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing with this hole here. I'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. 
Now with an extra set of hands, we can put our hitch in place. Now we're gonna take our fish wires and put them through the corresponding holes in our hitch. Now the hitch is actually gonna sandwich the heat shield. And once we get all the bolts exposed, we're gonna put on a conical tooth washer and just make sure that the teeth are facing the hitch. We'll take our nut and carefully get it threaded on. And we're going to get one nut started on each side. That way the hitch will hold itself in place while we finish the rest of the hardware. Now we can tighten all our hardware up. Now for this most rearward hole, we're actually going to use the hitch as a template and we're going to use a drill bit to drill out a hole in the frame. That way we can put some hardware in it. And keep in mind, the other side will be exactly the same. So anything we do to one side, we'll do to the other. Now we're going to use the same fish wire technique to install our hardware in the hole that we just drilled. I did find it does make it a little easier to get out the coil then, as if we make a bend in it, you know, maybe three or four inches down past the coil, something like that. We'll push that in, pull it down. Once again, our spacer block goes on first, and then our carriage bolt and thread into the coils. Once it's dropped down through the hole, remove our fish wire and put on our conical tooth washer and our nut. Now we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Now we can use a torque wrench to torque all of the hardware down. You can find that torque specification and your instructions. Now that all of our hardware is torqued down, we can rehang our exhaust in the opposite way that we lowered it. Once that's done, we can remove our strap. And that'll do it for our look at an installation of the draw tight hitch on our 2013 Lincoln MKX.